Hello everyone and welcome to Rondell's Unpopular Opinion Podcast and welcome to my YouTube channel. Like I always say, if you are new to the channel, welcome. And be sure to not only like this video, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment, share it if you care. Put the cherry on top by subscribing to the channel and hitting the notification bell so every time that I upload a new podcast, you are in the know. So... All right. About two weeks ago, I kind of left off with my off season basketball wives podcast of Shawnee O'Neal responding to the rumors of her potentially losing her EP credential. OK, so if many of you did not know, you were kind of really living underneath a rock. There were rumors circula- uh, circulating and moving around in the streets that Shawnee O'Neal's EP credential was in jeopardy of being snatched from her from Viacom due to the previous season of Basketball Wives that was pretty much um, a fiasco. Just put it like that, all right? That's the best way that I can really kind of really describe it. So that's where we kind of left off. Shawnee O'Neal was essentially saying that those rumors were not true that you know we will wait for the credits in 2020 to see her name because her name will basically be there so she was pretty much you know putting it on wax and stating that those rumors are definitely not true but like i said in the previous podcast we shall see but on to her bestie all right her best friend go best friend that's my best friend all right evelyn lozada She's back in the mix again also. So it seems as though, according to the Celebrity Insider, that Evelyn Lozada will be launching a YouTube docuseries. And not that she will be launching it, she actually did, all right? And I did watch the first episode of it. All right, so according to Celebrity Insider, they launched this article on December the 13th. And it essentially stated Evelyn Lozada will be launching a YouTube docuseries. She has a lot of work to do to build her reputation for herself after a rough season of Basketball Wives. The reality star has a partnership now with Shoe Dazzle and will be launching her own docuseries where viewers will get to walk a mile in her shoes. The view, the videos, excuse me, the videos will take fans into the life of the mother of two, starting with where she grew up. The Blast exclusively released a clip from Living Lozada Uncut, where she explains the content is quote-unquote a sneak peek into my life all the way back to castle hill let's take a walk back to my old stomping grounds the boogie down bronx i'm evelyn lozada raw and uncut set to premiere december the 16th and evelyn was actually promoting this docuseries on her uh ig she did promote it she did basically state that she had this deal with shoe dazzle and you know she wanted people to actually tune in now i'm gonna say this i actually watched the first episode of this and i was like okay (laughs) like the episode was literally four minutes and i believe 47 seconds I don't know. To me, when I heard docuseries, I'm like, we're going to get at least 15 minute episodes. We're going to get at least 30 minutes. You know what I'm saying? But it was just like, okay, where's the rest of it? You know what I'm saying? And yes, we know that it's going to be in parts and it's going to (coughs) be, excuse me, because I am um, dealing with my child's germs, courtesy of her germy ass classmates. So I'm like, I know this is a six part series, all right? And it's starting December 16th and it's going to basically uh, be premiering, so to speak, every Friday after that. I was just like, um, where's, where's the rest of this though? You know, it was just like, it was literally less than five minutes long. But anyway, right? Um, other than it being like extremely too short, um, I will say that I believe that this is to primarily to sell the shoe dazzle collection to because they definitely were putting uh camera time on her footwork. <laughs> okay. So this was this was a cute idea to promote her shoe line, but um it also could be a splash 
of still, you know, the damage control and, you know, demonstrating a sense of humility after the very just toxic season of Basketball Wives. I believe it, it is serving for that purpose also. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. But um, I would suggest if you do watch Basketball Wives to definitely check out this docuseries because I'm pretty sure that this docuseries is going to serve as content for her next season or her next storyline and narrative of Basketball Wives and her role on Basketball Wives. You will be seeing the... Um, making or the creation or you know her getting involved with shoe dazzle that is probably definitely going to be um content for basketball wives and basically a part of her storyline hopefully that'll be the smart thing for her to do not only to continue to promote the line it will also shift the dynamic of the show because like i said if things do not change and we keep getting the same old same old from this cast nobody's really gonna like honestly like i like i said it the, to me the show is not gonna be able to take one more controversial season like it's, it's really just not because a lot of people have been rubbed the wrong way from the behavior of what we saw so I'll, I'll just leave that at that so let me know what you guys think have you watched the docuseries first episode what did you think about it did you see the shoe line did you see um any of the shoes that are going to be a part of the line did you buy any is are they out for uh purchase now let me know what you guys think drop down in the comments thank you guys so much for listening to this podcast and i will check next one happy holidays peace